Hello everyone, welcome to Veronica Hug. Today I have a wonderful project for you. So I have these little baggies that can be used, for example, as pot holders if you're a flower or a plant um, parent, or in the kitchen maybe for some utensils or bowls, um, and for many different things in general for decorative purposes and for hanging up. So, in order for it to be strong enough, I will use the Wooly Hugs rope. And let's see here, we have 200 grams and 140 meters. And yeah, the needle or hook size is 6 to um, 8 millimeters. And yeah, this is what I'm going to be using for today. So you see here, we have a little loop on top. That's what's going to keep it um, nice and stable. For today, I will use a little bit lighter color just so we can follow better um, with my instructions. So with rope, what I like to do first is burn the very tip to prevent it from fraying. And please be careful when you do this. So this is what we want to do to prevent fraying and um, other unexpected events. So we can start with a slip knot. Today we're not knitting but crocheting. And we will start with um, 10 chains first. Now we're going to close this up with a slip stitch, so go into the first chain and close up. And then after that we can do an extra chain on there. And now the first chain that I went in for the slip stitch, I want to do another single in here. And if you know my projects from before, then you already know, but if you're new, you know I like to weave in um, my beginning thread as I work on the project. So the next couple of chains are also going to get singles. And always take your beginning thread with you, that way it's a lot easier and you don't have an extra step at the end. Okay, so we've done three more singles on here. So this means that we have chains number five and six. They are gonna get two singles each. That was number five, now we have number six. So again, two chains, uh, two singles into the chain. And then the following ones, so number seven, eight, nine, and ten, are gonna get just one single each. Four, there we go. And now we're going to close this up with a slip stitch into the first single again. And now you have your little loop for the top of your holder done. Now we're going to do an extra chain for the height on here. And then we're going to turn our work. Now the stitch that we did a slip stitch into gets two singles. And then we're going to do another chain and we're going to turn again. And into the last stitch we go in and do two singles. and we do the second one, we also do two singles. So now we have four 
and we're gonna do a chain and turn our work again. And into that first chain, the closest to the hook, we're again gonna do two singles. Into the second and the third stitch, we're gonna do just one each. And the last, so the edge stitch again, is gonna get two single crochets. We can turn our work now with an extra chain and then we're again doing the same thing, two singles into the first stitch, the one closest to the hook. The middle ones always get just one single each. And the last one again gets two. Same thing again, turn with the chain, do uh, two singles into the edge stitches and one single into the ones in between. This is how you increase the number of stitches till you get the size that you want for your holder. Now we have here 10 stitches, so two into the first in the first spot, six in the middle, and two more at the end, at the end. So per row, we're always adding two stitches, one at the beginning and one at the end. Eight, we have 12 in this row. And two more, 11 and 12. We're turning again and then two into the edge stitch, then one per stitch until the last one, that one gets an extra stitch as well. This is 10, just a little bit more. There we go. Then a chain again and turn and you already know what to do. Four. This one's going to have 18. Twenty. 
five, and ten. this tip done so you see here this section until we start the lower part this is what we have so the 20 stitches that you can see um, maybe it doesn't look like 20 stitches but it is 20 stitches on here and that's exactly what we did in a different color so now I'm gonna use two stitch markers just to keep an easier overview so I'm gonna show you where we're gonna use them in a moment Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna do one chain and we're immediately gonna put the marker right there. So you can use pretty much anything here. You can use a stitch marker if you have it or you can even use something like a paper clip, whatever you can find. And now I'm just working um, as I did before. So I'm doing one single per each single that I see. and this time we have 22 total and when we do the 22nd stitch we put a marker on here and then we can continue as we did so far so nothing changed but we just put the markers in and the, what we did now is the beginning of this section where our um, forward fold so to speak starts So this is perfect for beginners since we're doing basically just chains and singles and I think it's a wonderful result in the end, something that we can hang up that looks beautiful and yeah, it's a great project to practice your stitches as well. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is keep going the same way as we did so far. Leave the marks in here, so we do need them still, but I'm gonna do a little bit more and then I'll be back to show you an update. Okay, so after a while I have 60 chains or 60 singles um, in length here at the very last row. And now when I fold these flaps inwards, you can see that we already get what we want and need. So we're going to be working on the bottom. You can see here the little top loop that we started with. So we turn it the other way around. And now we just basically look where our mark is and go down. And then what I'm going to do is count these stitches here and mark them. So I'm gonna count 20 first. And 20, okay. So number 21 gets a marker. And 22. 
and I'm going to do the same on the other side. Okay, there we go. 21 also gets the stitch from this side. And now what we want to do is fold both sides like this. And with the bat should be on top. Now you see I'm using a little bit smaller hook. This is going to make everything a lot easier. This is the little one. And I'm going to need the chain to turn. Let me try and fix the camera so you can see it better. Chain to turn. And now we're going to go let me see just to make sure yeah into this one first the first chain the first single then into the 20th and into the 21st we go in and we do a slip stitch there so here it's completely okay if you take a little bit more time just make sure you're in the right stitches then we can continue with the stitches right next to those so you're always going to need three stitches and then do a slip stitch and you continue doing that And just the first three are kind of tricky maybe, but the rest of them are super easy because when you have the first three, then the other just fall in line, as you can see. So you can see the cool thing about this as well is that we're working with one thread we didn't have to cut it off anywhere or start new anywhere so from the beginning till the end you're using the same thread and the project is done. And if you know my projects from before, you know that I don't exactly like um, weaving in at the end, so projects like these are really my favorite. Okay, we're almost at the end. One last stitch and we're done. And I'm going to zoom out so that you can see this is my little baggie or holder. Now we can shorten this and weave in. So now when we measure this, the weight of it, it's exactly 100, maybe a little bit over 100 grams. So 103 grams is what we have. And yeah, um, if you want to do two out of one ball of yarn, it, you might need <laughs> a little bit more. Um, but if you work more tightly, then you might fit in two of these per ball of yarn. And yeah, I wanted to show you another little detail that you maybe noticed um, at the very beginning. So the other baggie that I showed you have a little button on here 
So you can do something decorative like that or keep it simple like this. And then you can just put whatever you want inside. So I hope you enjoyed today's project. Feel free to let me know what you think. You can also subscribe if you'd like to see more. And if you do, don't forget the notification bell. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.